Hello, Erie. You can call me Average Joe. Change. Change is coming. You know it, I know it. Whether these changes are good or bad depends on how we adapt to them. But ready or not, here they come. First, can you imagine a world without the post office? So deeply in debt, there's probably no way to sustain it long term. Email, FedEx, and UPS have just about wiped out the minimum revenue needed to keep the post office alive. Think about the mail you get every day. Junk mail and bills? Well, I don't know about you, but I use the post office and postal services on a regular basis. And the thought of losing those tactile interactions to virtual online transactions is frightening to me. I don't pay bills via the computer, and I don't want to. Do you do that? Is that something you do on a regular basis? Well, if you do, you better check your statements and balances daily to make sure no one is screwing you out of your hard-earned cash. While we're headed down that road, what about the check? Britain is already laying the groundwork to do away with checks by 2018. Why? Because it costs the financial system billions of dollars a year to process checks. Plastic cards and online transactions are going to lead to the eventual demise of the check. That, of course, plays right into the death of the post office. If you never pay your bills by mail and you never receive your bills by mail, say goodbye. Oh, another thing you could say goodbye to is the printed newspaper. The younger generation doesn't read it and they certainly don't subscribe to a daily paper. You're lucky if they barely read it at all. The printed paper is going the way of the milkman and the laundry man. As for reading the paper online, get ready to pay for it. The rise in mobile internet devices and e-readers has caused the newspaper and magazine publishers to form an alliance. They've met with Apple, Amazon, the major cell phone companies, just to develop a model for a paid subscription service. What do you think about that? Now, another thing is, personally, I will never give up on the printed book. A book that you actually hold in your hand and turn real pages. Now, you can browse a bookstore online and even read a preview chapter before you buy. And that price of that electronic book is less than half of a real book. But it's not a real book. Flicking your fingers on a screen instead of turning the pages in a book. Now just think of everything these changes will affect. Besides the post office and the postal workers, what about people that manufacture paper? Wait, we don't have to worry about that here now, do we? No, not anymore. But also, ink, printing, binding, distribution, libraries, bookstores. When it comes down to it, it affects people. Are we all supposed to just sit in front of a computer screen with no skills other than typing on a keyboard? Might as well just pour yourself right into a bucket. Now, network television. Revenues to the networks are down dramatically. Primetime shows have degenerated to their lowest common denominator. It's all recycled garbage now. Cable rates are skyrocketing, and commercials run about every four minutes and 30 seconds. That I will not miss. Can't you just see Diane Sawyer squinting and turning a sour reaction at anything the left deems unfitting? And that weasel, George, stepping off the bus on Good Morning America? Ugh. What a crazy spoon-fed society we turned into. I say good riddance to them. It's time for cable companies and networks to be put out of their misery. Speaking of the TV, TV and cable networks, NBC and Time Warner just teamed up. Comcast is the nation's leading wireline broadband internet provider, which means this single company now owns the programming and runs the pipes that brings us that programming. Get ready for your cable and internet costs to go through the roof. You're gonna wish you had those books back in a few years. Now call me old fashioned. I am. Stuck in the past? Well, maybe. But I'll tell you one thing. The past was pleasant compared to the direction that we're headed in. Well, compared to the direction we're headed in, it was paradise. Now, quite frankly, I find the future frightening. Now, change can be good as long as the changes actually benefit this country and its citizens. 
Sure, electronics make certain things easier and faster. Hell, I absolutely love that I can shove a John Wayne DVD into my DVD player and I get a great picture, great color, and amazing sound. But tell me, hmm, what would we do if there was some sort of massive blackout, huh? What if energy's rationed? You know, what if the grid goes down? How are you gonna make your online transactions? And if more of us keep losing our jobs and the costs for these things keep going up, what's going to be left to watch? What are we going to do? We won't be able to do anything. We're going to be crippled. Where do you get in-depth news as opposed to the filtered sound bites you hear on the radio or network TV? How are you going to enrich your life through stories of fact or fiction? Going, going, almost gone. Now, let's take a moment and stand back. Look around you. Everyone's plugged in. Everything's moving so fast. We have to take a stand here, Yuri. We are losing our grip on the reality of the situation. Change is sweeping in. And it doesn't care if you're ready for it or not. It's forcing itself into your daily lives. I don't like it. Not one bit. <sighs> Thanks for your time, Yuri. Climb aboard my ark. It's only going to get deeper.